do right here with your Ask a Trainer question for this week. So I had a question regarding pelvic floor exercises for women. So pelvic floor is kind of a, not necessarily a buzzy thing, but you might be hearing more and more about it. And that's because more and more women are talking about this. This is something that many, 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 many women deal with these uh, pelvic floor issues. Uh, men too, but primarily it does affect women. Um, not just women who have had children, but those of us who have not as well. So when we say pelvic floor, that sounds like a very general term. Uh, there are actually been very uh, uh, several muscles that have to do with our pelvic floor. So what we're talking about is this area all around here. You have your diaphragm at the top, your pelvic floor muscles at the bottom, your transverse abdominis, and then in the back we have our multifidus muscles. So those four, that group of four muscles together makes our pelvic cavity here. So the pelvic floor muscle, this is what holds all those organs in. And a lot of times that's where we do get weakness, um, again, either through childbearing, age, um, it could be a medical issue. All of those things can affect the function of that pelvic floor. One of the biggest issues that women especially do find with that is the need for frequent urination, especially upon an impactful exercise. That being said, it doesn't have to be that way. So there are exercises we can do. I'm gonna show you one very basic one. You've probably heard of this, uh, the Kegel exercise. Um, I learned recently that Kegel rhymes with bagel. So I always said Kegel, but it's actually Kegel. So um, with that exercise, I like to use a visual with this exercise because most women have heard of this exercise and you might be sitting in traffic and squeezing a little bit and you know it's not a bad thing but there definitely needs to be a lot of engagement with these muscles in order for that kegel to be effective the other thing about this exercise is as with any exercise to be effective you have to do it frequently and consistently so i'll talk a little bit more about that after i talk about this so if you imagine that chamber that i just described with your diaphragm pelvic floor transverse abdominis and those um, multifidus in the back this is a chamber, I want you to think about, you're gonna fill it up with air, and then we're gonna release that and pull that in. So the challenge is if you think about it, um, example I like to use is a jellyfish. So, you know, jellyfish is floating through the ocean, just floating, and it's down here, and it wants to move up. How does the jellyfish move up? It draws in and pulls itself up. So if you imagine that that pelvic floor muscle is your jellyfish, it's just kind of floating around and something's happening. You're doing jumping jacks or you have to sneeze. You want to pull that jellyfish up to help brace that pelvic floor so that there's not sudden urination, which is a challenge that a lot of women do face. So think about this. When you take a big deep breath in, and I'm going to turn this way, take a big deep breath in and then blow it all out. And then when you breathe in again, I want you to think about filling the abdominal chamber. So from the diaphragm down versus just your lungs. So take a big deep breath in. And then when you exhale, draw those muscles in. So think about pulling that pelvic floor up. Imagine it's that jellyfish as it comes up. Breathe out again, reset, take a big breath in, full, fill that um, abdominal cavity. And then exhale draw that jellyfish up. Of course, this is an exercise that is a little harder to demonstrate, but if you use that visual imagery of that jellyfish, that's a good start. There are several other things that you can do. Um, I am going to be putting on a pelvic floor clinic later in March. Uh, the date is TBD. I will get that out there for you, but I do encourage you to practice those kegels. Think about your jellyfish, draw it in, and exhale 10 to 15 times, two or three times a day is a good way to get started, and that can help you start to build that pelvic floor strength. So again, if you'd like more information, I will be doing a pelvic floor health workshop at the end of March, so stay tuned for details. All right, team, thanks. Have a good day.